What's going on guys? Kapori Brothers here for a little video and once again it's been a while. It's been like a long time. I don't know. Months, I don't know. But anyway, as you can tell by this video, we got the cars out in front of the dealership today. Um, we're not open, we're not done, but not we, all the cars are here. Not all the cars here, but we like, hey, we'll do a little update. We'll show you guys the concrete that we're doing because you know we're professionals now. Oh yeah. But uh, we got all the cars, so let's take a look yeah. at them. All right, let's start off. We got the Mustang over here, looking amazing per usual. Look at that, looking real good. Well, but that, huh? uh, looking real good. How's our concrete work? Concrete work, yeah. You know, we're doing this all ourselves. Huh? Not too bad. But how about just take a look at that picture right there, man? What do you think about that? All the cars lined up? Actually, not all of them, ain't all of them. Wait a minute, I'm gonna take a picture of my phone right now. Yeah. Take a picture right now, on my phone. Look at that. I gotta stand back a little bit. Don't stand back a little bit. Stand back a little bit. Wow. Not all done either, as you can clearly tell. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture right there. I see. Rent That's gonna be on good. Instagram. Check us out, Forty Brothers. Rent Tech's looking good. Rent Tech was dead as a doornail. Yeah, I need to jump it. Do a little jump start action. I wonder if we have to reset something because. Uh, so many comments. Look at. That. Let me take a look in here. I see the. Um, the, look at the, that. MBZ Classics right there, look at that. Top, I say the top like, button lights flickering and... I don't know if we can reset something if you jumped in or what, but... Look at, paint, look at that paint looking good. It ain't even detailed yet, Matt. I say it ain't detailed looking good. Look at that. Got the R230 over here. R230, this is dirty. It has, it's been sitting in no this cover. Is, this is kind of what our like dealerships look like when it's open. Like this is the kind of stuff you're gonna see. Yeah. Of, well, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of newer stuff. I mean, stuff. maybe not some 101 Rentex or some rare Zender Y bodies, but... Yeah. I mean, you can buy something. Is C-Class looking good? C-Class looking good. Low key, one of the best cars in the collection. This car is so enjoyable to drive. Yeah, so every time that we think, we're like, oh, maybe we'll sell the C-Class, we take it for a spin, and it's like, the car is so solid. I mean, let's take a look at Look how mint this thing is. It's strict. Well, look I'll at that fitment, too. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This side's extremely clean. This look at that. Typical clear coat failure. That when's, the last size, you, when's the last time you saw a W202 that clean? Look at this. Look don't, at that. don't show the top of the trunk and the, huh? the roof. Just don't show hey, yeah, the roof got a little bit of that, that paint that's, you know, yeah. typical Mercedes 90s paint. Bear, clear, all the, you know, failing, but. Hey, she still she still looks good, though. Look at that. Huh? Lowered yeah. H&R. Get the Zender wide body. The Savage Garage Zender wide body. Look at that thing. I mean, that thing I is said, beautiful. We're supposed to make a video on this. We haven't made anything yet because we literally haven't done nothing to it. Like, having detail, all we do is wash it. A couple times. Um, look at that. We changed the rear brakes because the parking. The parking brake in the rear was all jammed up, so we changed that. And I, it's I, still making a little noise. The passenger side item, dude, 100 percent right, still making a little noise. So I have to take it back apart and fix it. It's again. a nice hoodie you got there, Matt. Like that. A nice hoodie right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the Zender real fast. Zender wide body, pretty rare. Oh man, don't, look how dirty it is. It's dusty, yeah. Needs a little work, a little patina. This is gonna be a project Seats car. Got some rips in it. I, I think we, we should turn this into a resto mod, huh? Yeah, put an M113 in it. Huh? M113K. Take a look at this. Savage right there. Oh man, look how dusty this is. Oh, I feel bad. Show the new plate, Nick. Check this out. Now, if you guys don't know Savage Garage, well, that's that's terrible. Sure. You should know. But uh, Randy, um, he actually had this plate on his SVJ, so pay a little homage to his car since it's, it is his car. It was his car. It was his car, so we threw it on there. Not some good hands over here. It's good hands. Look at this. Let me get a little side shot right here. Look at that. Oh, I say man. this car needs some uh, restoration work. The rent tag needs a little bit of restoration work. And the Kazi, which should be back hopefully within the next few weeks. Uh, the Kazi is the priority. That car is going to get um, a full treatment first. The works. And then once, these cars, yeah, then, then the rent tech. Once that's done, we're going to do some rent uh, and restoration then this. on the rent tech. And then this will be third on the list for his restoration. We've been kind of throwing an idea, though, about doing uh, like those subscriptions on Instagram. Yeah. And maybe doing a subscription thing where we do a full like a resto mod build on the Zender, but for only the people that subscribe to the subscription. What do you guys think? Let us yeah, know in the comments. Because obviously these car, I mean this car, it's, it's a big car. It's got no power. It's, and it needs a little bit of love. One thing I will say about the 126, I was never a huge fan of these cars um, until we bought this one. I really like, like it. But the thing is this car drives, it, it feels old. Yeah. It feels old. It feels tired. It, it feels has, like a big 190 though. It's got no power. It drives like a bus. But, uh, but it's it, a great it, cigar car. It's an amazing cigar car. It's what we use it for. It's Just super look at comfortable. It. So Look at that thing. Thinking about maybe doing something fun, like doing like a, some type of rest of all weed slap, you know, a newer AMG engine or something. New fun. suspension, new brakes, new AMG engine, and then redo the interior. Yeah, and do because interior like, definitely needs done. And then the body work, the painted body work needs a little bit of love too. It's not perfect. I mean, I see the, the interior, the dashboard. You can tell it's all cracked. The wood's faded. Um, I mean, not horrible. Not horrible. No. Not the here. worst. The back seats are actually in very good. Well, the fun happens, right, Matt? What fun? Huh? Look at that, it looks pretty good. You mean the Padrone anniversary? Padrone yeah. anniversary. I say these seats back here are actually in really nice shape. Door panel is actually a nice two back, you know, it's all nice back here, but good. and the paint job on this car, uh, it looks yeah. like it's had a ton of paint work, which that needs not fixed. good. So that needs fixed. And then this is the, um, the baby right here. Obviously you got the corner over here. Just take a look at the interior now. Look at that. Take a look at the interior. It's, oh man. I, mean, I have never seen a 124 cleaner that. interior. Look at those door panels. Nope. Huh? I've never seen a cleaner one. 
Get the monoblocks. It's, it's like a bank vault. Did you hear that the door closing? Yeah, What's let it? me see it. So oh, solid. Yeah. Let's take a look at inside of here. Solid. If you guys don't know about this one, it's our baby. Hopefully you know about this oh, one. Oh man, look at that. Look at the seats. Absolutely, All original. Absolutely beautiful. All original. Absolutely beautiful. Take That's a look at the front here. One of the personal favorites in the collection for you know cruising around in. It's just this car is just there's something about the 400 e I tell you what, yeah. a 124 with a V8. I mean, you don't even got to have the the what do you call it, the 500 e You just need this. This is actually more rare. This lighting is making no sense. If I can catch it. Oh yeah, we gotta touch it up. You know they I, made double. The, they yeah. made the double amount of 400 es They did 500 es but because the 400 e was more red. I don't even want to say more readily available. It was a sixty thousand dollar car in '93. Yeah, yeah, I think fifty some dollars, but. but. More people drove these than 500 E's. People say, preserve I'm the 500 E's. These cars aren't more appreciated because if you think about it, take a look at that. The, the 500 E's, the, the 500 E's are so expensive. They sell for so much money, and these, I mean, they, they really don't sell for a lot at all. And they're not that much different of a car. I mean, if you, you take that. away the wide body and yeah, the narrow, some narrow body action, huh? The 500 E has a slightly bigger version of the M119. But wow, what I mean, a view right here! Look at they're that. They're so similar of a car that you would think that these would still be worth, you know. A good about a good amount of money too, but they're not. So if you well, find one, it's clean. Snag what's, it up. what's back there? Let's go take a look at back, a little back there. Oh, the Jeep. Let's go take a look at the Jeep over here, huh? So this is our 1999 Grand Cherokee. This is the get the hood open over here, but this is the limited. I say, when did seventy-one thousand miles. Saw, Our parents bought this in not in ninety-nine. It was used, but they got it at the end of ninety-nine. Two thousand or two thousand. I can't remember. It had like ten thousand miles on it. Like ten thousand miles. We bought the time, but. I say, as you can tell, this this thing is, is immaculate. It's only got seventy one thousand miles on it in the private collection. It's been uh, I think we put fifty miles on it since putting it in storage in two thousand fifteen. We never took it out. Yeah, I think so. And people, a lot of people ask us why we even have this. This was kind of like our first car. We turned sixteen. This is what we learned how to drive on. Us and our us, both of us and yeah, our sister, I'd we say, all took our driving lesson, took, driving test in this car. I say we took our driving test in this. Uh, Learn how to drive with this. Yeah. So we had family trips in this. School, through high school, through college. Um, take a look at our little. Got a lot of seminal value, so that's why we keep it. Take a little walk around. Get the, ho the hood's popped open. It's not bent or anything. Yeah. I mean, it's remember this classy dip we did this uh -huh. in high school. This is a yeah, we did dip. that in high school. We left it on. Yeah, and back, back when I was kind of. Cool. But I mean, look at look at the paint on this. It's just original headlights. Crystal original clear. headlights. Crystal clear. Let me get you longer. Inspection was due in uh, 2018. Yeah, inspection was due in uh, 2018. We got inspected in 2017 because we went to go get a service and it was like, oh, we'll drive and we never did. But it's all about the Mercedes though. Well, it's gonna be about more than just Mercedes when we open. Yeah, it's not a lot of other stuff. Because how about that concrete we though? Love Mustangs. Love, love Mustangs. Love Mustangs. Yeah, that's Porsches. it right there. Porsches. I like the old car. Porsche. Get some exoticas. Yeah, all kind of cool stuff. But all right, guys, that's the end of this video. Just a little little video come up, see what's going on in the building. Basically, say hi. We Nothing going on, on the inside. It's all we've done is just the concrete here, which you can see what the cars are on it. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Um, who knows what the next video? It might be a Kazi video, it might not, or just hopefully, be another. It's a Kazi video. When I, I know when we get it back, we're in a good uh, seat on the dyno, you know, on the breaking we'll period stuff. So and that, get a little, a little information from the guy building it. So yeah, we'll do that. I said that'll probably end up being our next video. Hopefully, it better be. But yeah. uh, uh, follow us on Instagram for updates with that and for updates for everything. And until then, we'll see you guys in the next video.